Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and I'm going to answer a nice simple question that does get asked quite a lot when we're coding in C Sharp in Unity, and that is why do we use double equals for some things, not for others? When do we use it? How do we use it? So basically what it comes down to is we use a double equals sign when we're asking. So a single equals sign is we're stating something, double means we're asking something. So we're questioning if this data is what it should be. So if we go, for example, to uh, Visual Studio and we do a couple of variables, let's have a variable as a integer and let's just have that as num1 and let's have another integer as num2 semicolon. So if we go to our void start, and let's try out the double equals first. So if, and in here we have num1 equals six, then do the following. So the reason this highlights red is because as I said earlier, a single equals is stating, it's telling it to be this. Here we're saying if number one equals six. Now logically you would think that would be right, but a double equals means to ask, to question, not to state. So here we are asking because we're using double equals. And if we go here and type in num2 double equals seven semicolon, that won't work because once again, we're questioning. This isn't a line where we would need to question. We need to tell it that it is this. We're stating that's why it is a single equal sign. So that is the basics of it and you'll be surprised how many people get so confused and so mixed up over an equal sign. You just have to remember that two equal signs means a question, a single equal sign means a statement. That's all you ever need to remember. Well, it's at least how I remember anyway. Uh, so you would only normally use something like a double equal sign in this statement because you're asking something and a single equal sign when you declare something because that's what it is. It's a statement. So I hope that's uh, cleared that up for you guys. I hope that makes a little bit more sense. If not, please let me know in the comments below what more you would like to know. Uh, it does also apply to greater than and less than. So I'll just add this as a little bonus here. Uh, if we have greater than and less than, we're asking basically, is it equal to or greater than? Uh, this number, so you would have greater than or equal to, less than, equal to this number here. So this doesn't really count as a double equals because we're still asking, but you just have to always remember double equals is asking the question. So yeah, hope that's helped. Um, don't forget, click the subscribe button, click the bell icon as well, stay up to date with every tutorial and every video on my channel because there's loads to see and do. And guys, yep, yeah, thank you very much for watching.